Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag. Oh, it's so heavy. So I actually don't know what's in my bag. Um, I've just been letting stuff marinate since the beginning of the school year. So let's go find out together what is in my bag. Let's get straight into it. Okay, first thing that's in my bag, it's actually not in my bag. It is my binder. The reason is this backpack is very big, but it's not big enough to fit my binder because this binder contains everything I need for all my classes. So this is what it looks like. I printed out a little, a cute little um, cover to put in the front. And I just have all my classes in here. I have my French, psychology, biology, English, and then math at the end. So yeah, this is a giant binder. I actually don't recommend having a binder like this because today I forgot to bring this binder to school So I didn't have anything for all my classes. So luckily all we were learning at school is new things So I didn't need the papers from before Okay, let's get into my backpack in the first section We have the front pocket and I have One lip balm two lip balms one lip gloss I actually don't need all of these. I usually just use this one. Next in my beautiful backpack, we have some oil absorbing sheets. Because my skin is really oily, I don't know if you can tell, but usually I need some of these blotting sheets so that my face doesn't look like it's super oily because usually it looks like I can fry three to four eggs with it. Next, I have my Invisalign, which I will not be showing because it says my address on top. But yeah, it's my Invisalign. It's like braces, but plastic. And then I have the elastics for my Invisalign. Next up in my backpack, I have this hair tie. I actually needed this hair tie, so that's good. And this Laneige hand cream. This is a sample I got from a while back and it's almost empty, so I don't know why it's still here, but let's hydrate our hands. All right, next, this like stress toy. I don't know when I got this and I don't know why it's in my backpack, but it's here and I have a little cute bear hair clip. And that is it for my first pocket. Let's move on to the second pocket and it's right here. First thing I have, this is like my designated snack pocket and like extras. So I have some of these, I don't know what it's called. It's like want want snacks. It's like tiny little loaves of bread, but they actually taste like pancakes and they're dry. So these are super good. Um, this was like a full pack a few weeks ago. So I just snack on these throughout the day. And luckily most of my teachers let me eat during the class, but some of them don't let me. Next up, I have my Bluetooth headphones. Really useful for my classes because everyone is super loud. Next up, I have two pads. Not on my period right now, but I was a few weeks ago. So yeah, I just got some new bookmarks too yesterday at the mall. So these, this is what it looks like. It's a loaf with a bunch of strawberries. If you guys don't know, strawberries are my favorite fruit. I love them so much. Then some strawberries. There's this little person and just some tulips. Also tulips are my favorite flower. So yeah, these are super cute and I'm super excited to be using these in my language classes. Next up, I have empty gum wrapper. I have some chocolates in a Ziploc bag and these um, I just give out to my friends throughout the day. I have some candy. Oh, these are really cute packaging. Now we're gonna go into the main part of my amazing backpack. So let's open it up. All right, first thing I have is charger. This phone charger is super useful throughout the day because I use my phone a lot. Some of our teachers do cahoots and stuff and then they let us use our phones. And look at this, it's a little chimmy on the charger, so cute. Next up, I have The Hate You Give. It's a little crumpled up, I'm super sad. Um, this is the book I'm reading in English class. And I have another book that I'm reading in French class, but I actually lost it. So I've been looking for it and I hopefully I can find it or else I have to buy it. But yeah, I'm reading The Hate You Give. So far I'm at chapter five. Next up, I have my pencil case. I'm gonna show you what's in my pencil case at the end of the video. Next up, I have a little journal and this is the shared journal that I share with my friends. So I share this with three other people. And we just take turns writing random stuff like to-do lists in the journal. It's really cute. 
I have my biology notebook. Biology was like art class, guys. I had to draw the systems and stuff. But yeah, I've been studying for biology because I have a biology test tomorrow. If you guys want a more in-depth video about how to study biology, you can comment in my comments down below. I have some random papers because as I said today, I forgot to bring my binder to school. So here is my math paper. Next up, I have my big notebook. This one is used for physics, French, history, and chemistry, but I don't have those classes anymore. This semester, I only have French, so I'm using this entire notebook just for French right now. Next, I have my psychology notebook, and I used red. Oh, I forgot to tell you, these are color-coded for reasons. So biology, I chose green because it's like earthly type. And then psychology, I chose red because we study crimes and stuff, and it's like blood. Um, so here are my notes for psychology. Really cute. I'm super proud of these notes. But I did fold it a little bit, which is really sad. The last notebook I have is this math notebook, and the state of it is like the state of my mind in that class. Look at this. The school year is barely halfway finished, so I might have to get a new notebook soon. Next, I have my laptop. So this laptop is my lovely laptop I've used since grade nine. I'm in grade 11 right now. But this laptop is like broken, battered, shattered. And so I was trying to put this in my car trunk one day and then it fell onto the cement. So now it's just taped up. It's barely recovering. And when I open it, the edge of my laptop pops out. So if anyone knows how to fix a laptop, please let me know in the comments down below. But so far, I still love this laptop. Since it runs Valorant and all the games I want, I still use this laptop. I'm probably gonna get a new one for university too. Next up, in my last tiny little zip, I have a plastic bag. I don't know when I'm ever gonna use this. So let's open it up. And the first thing you see are these highlighters. And these are some knockoff highlighters. I have a pink one, a brown one, green one, and then a light blue one. Oh, my calculator. Next up, I have my calculator. I do not have the calculator case. I didn't lose it. It's just, it takes too much effort to take off the case each time. So I just keep it bare. Next, we have my favorite pen. Super pretty. I like the blue and gold design. And when you write with it, it's super smooth. Next up, I have a ruler for math class. I also have this erasable blue pen. This is only for studying because I heard that blue pen helps retain information. So I always use this blue pen. I also have another one, but this one's a bit pale, so I don't use this one. This one's just for notes. It's to make it look pretty. I have a pink pen that matches it. It's super cute, but I don't use this one that often. And then I have my normal pencil. Last but not least, in this pouch, I have a eraser. This is my strawberry eraser. It's super cute. I love it. Next, we're going to open up this last zipper. All right, first thing, I have a whiteout. I don't really use this whiteout often because I usually write in erasable pen. Oh, I forgot my hair is tied. And next, I have washi tape. This is actually more useful than you think because I always ripped my papers by accident. And then just using this washi tape is super cute to cover it up. Look at it, it's glittery. Next up, I have some spare erasers and some spare lead just in case I'm doing a test and then my pencil decides to die. And then I have a tiny scissor, but I can't actually use it because funny story, I was eating jello with my friends and then we were using this to cut up because it's like those tubed jellos. And then the jello got stuck on the metal. So these two metal parts are actually stuck. So actually I should go fix this. I forgot about this. Next up, I have a, I don't know why it says bird, but I have some more bookmarks for class. The last thing I have is a spare pencil for if anyone wants to borrow it. And it's broken because my friend broke it. If you broke this pencil, you know who you are. I'm watching you. I'm just kidding. But yeah, this is the spare pencil I give to my friends if they want to borrow it because no one wants to steal a broken pencil, right? All right, and that is the... Oh, wait, there's one more thing I just saw. I have a paper clip. So that is everything that is in my pencil case. And that is everything that's in my backpack. Hopefully this gave you some inspiration of what you can add to your backpack or if you just enjoyed watching it, 
Thank you for watching this video. Thanks for staying this whole time. I can't believe your attention span was this long. See you guys next video. Bye!